short hair bondo on the uh, vent area is still pretty hot. I like to use a lot of uh, a hardener. Like if I did this resin, I use a, I use a whole bottle, you know, of uh, accelerant activator. And like on this stuff, I like to use a lot of uh, activator. So it gets pretty hot sitting here now. But I'll uh, fine tune these, Bondo, smooth sand, probably with some 400. I'm probably gonna end up sanding it with 400, get it as smooth, smooth as possible. And then grab my uh, fiberglass and build it up right now. Trying to get this to lay just right uh, to where it doesn't have any pinches on it. Something like this here. Right on the corners. Get that down in there and then I'll just, once I get that and throw some hard on here, I'll just be able to pull all this out because I got this wrapped in silophane and painter's tape. So I'll just be able to pull all that out and uh, chop this little lump out right here, chop that, uh, that hump out. But I'm trying to visualize, you know, CD player, air conditioner controls, popper door switches, cutoff switches for all my amplifiers and speakers, um, interior lights, you know, all these extra switches for like the steering column as well as the three inch screen for the terminator uh terminator max terminator x terminator you know max holly terminator set up you know over in this area somewhere like this probably right about here i'll probably have it set in somewhere in here but i got to account for the dash insert that has the 12 point you know whatever inch screen but this is a long ways off like I said, if you want to help the build, uh, you can cash at me at uh, dollar sign uh, H E L L O W C H R I S. Uh, if you want to help the build move any quicker, I'm shooting this on an iPhone SE third generation, so you got some pretty good, um, pretty good visual on this here iPhone SE third generation. I sprayed this side with glue and I mean I just came real short on feeling getting that in this crack I cut a crack all the way around this so that I could line it up so I don't have to be like this here where this is laying over the fiberglass because it'll separate so I have to build all this up with fiberglass which I got to take this out anyway so I wasn't worried about that but uh, I cut this crack all the way around here and try to use this frame because, you know, I got to put some vents in here and uh, cut a crack in here, but I didn't spray any of this with glue. I was trying to minimize having glue because of this, like this here. You know, hopefully this ain't going to, because there's no glue on this side. You know, there's no glue. But there was just a little glue that I just sprayed here to hold this because I don't need glue on this because once I have that hardened, with the fiberglass are almost hardened. It's just hot glue, cardboard, and this piece of wood is the only thing I gotta worry about. So once I get that almost solid hardened, I gotta pop all that out, pull all that out, and keep it as straight as I can. With just a little bit of painter's tape, some uh, short hair Bondo. Uh, just gonna get this just smooth after, after this right here. Just smooth this out and then later on, you know, I'll flip, flip it over, do the bottom side and get it all reinforced like on the inside of here, on the inside of here. And uh, as far as that, uh, the tough part's going to be, because right now I don't have any transportation. So uh, right now the tough part's going to be creating this seam that runs down the edge of this car uh, dash to create a line. As you can see, this was sitting on 
some sawhorses. So there's a sawhorse indention here, and that's a big chunk taken out of the dash, but I gotta find the straightest area. And uh, at the end of the day, it'd probably be